We are here. We are doing this. Let's jump right into kingdoms and classifications. And I saw Book Girl mentioned that she's super excited about the this new edition because the previous one looked kind of boring. I agree. I really agree. I was so excited for this one to be even better than that one. So let's get in here and see. So these two are the book pack and we'll get into those. And this is the one for the older students. But I, I love it anyway. Even if you don't do the journal over here, we're over here. Even if you don't do the journal, reading the book is super fun. I flipped through it and I cannot wait. Okay, let's get into the course book. Yay, I'm glad you can hear me loud and clear. Let's get going. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Can we fix that? No, nope, it's going to be there anyway. That's okay. Let's see. Do we like this? We're going through it. All right. So vocabulary words. Hang on. Let's go back here. What are we doing? Supplies needed. Oh, that's quite a bit of supplies. Some of them. Oh, an M&M. That's going to be fun. So if you don't have some of these things, look at the lesson and the activity and make sure that you really want to do it before you get into it. Vocabulary words. I'm going to put a little flag sticky here and then we just put it wherever we're at and review them with each lesson. I don't really want to cut them out and put them on a wall. I'm actually really excited about this unit. I had it filmed and I was going to edit it, but I'd rather just get it out to you guys. And it's fun to chat with you. Ooh. Oh, this. Okay, this was one of my favorites in high school, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to do it with my kiddos. I really would love to do a genetics course with them because it is super fascinating. We always get the, yes, they always get the books. They are great read alouds. The illustrations are gorgeous. I agree. They're just so fun too. I mean, it's just a fun, an extra deep dive into the topic in a fun way. We personally like to do the, the extension lessons together as a family with my kiddos because a lot of them are too young for it and they, they love them. They really enjoy that extra deep dive into whatever that extension lesson wants to talk about. Oh, so we are doing these live because we start school on Monday and I figured rather than wait around and have you guys wait for me to edit it, let's just get it up so you can see it. And then we can chat if you have any questions. This is the three through six and have fun with it. I'm a little flustered today because, oh my goodness, it has been a day. My kiddos have had a day of days today, but we are here. We made it through that technical difficulty and we're going for it. I hope you guys are liking the lives. I know Book Girl's loving it. I love having you here. They're super fun to see it with you guys for the first time. And twofold, it's win-win because you guys get to see the curriculum a lot sooner and I get to have more time with my family not having to edit it. All right, let's look at seven through eight. This is the one that's going to have the extension lessons. DNA and classification. There we go. See, it's good stuff. Good stuff. If you guys are finding these videos helpful, please give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment. All that engagement helps YouTube know that this is helpful and that it should serve it up to other people who are also looking for it. And if you have any questions, we'll do a live Q and A um, at the end. And then if you're on the replay and have a question, drop it down in the comments. I love being a part of your homeschool journey and am honored to be able to help you out in any way I can. Yes, all the photos are awesome. I do love seeing them in there. I really love how they're doing these new student journals where they have the pictures involved that the kids can cut out and the pieces that they can move around and that the pictures are in here for them. Like glue the card here. I love that. All right, let's take a look at the book pack. 
so we have taxonomy and microbes. I'm not going to lie. The first time I saw taxonomy, I was so confused for a second there. I thought we were going to be looking at like the stuffed, stuffed animals. No, that's taxidermy. Yeah, I had that mixed up. Taxonomy. It's exciting stuff. Come on. There we go. Ooh, a koala. So this is the question and answers. We have true and false questions. And then the answer gets to explain it. So you get to read it to them, have them guess, and then you get to learn a little bit more as you read the paragraph to them after they guess. Ooh, learning about bacteria and stuff. Awesome. Cute little bear. Okay, microbes. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's cute. Um, oh, this is from the author, huh? Yeah, probably. Okay. That's a first. Oh, we need to get a microscope for this one, right? I think we do. I think that's part of the supplies list. We'll go take a look at that in a moment. But I believe that we need a microscope if we're going to do all of those activities. But they probably have videos for them as well. Oh, talking about viruses and they have coronavirus in there. Um. One thing I will say with this virus is Usborne Books has a virus lift the flap book that we love. It was super good. I would totally pull that in with that page. All right. So let's look really quick if we need a microscope. We've just done paleontology with the new student journals and my daughter loved it. Awesome. I'm so excited. That's one that we will be starting with this one. Let's see. Divided displacing activities. Optional use. Yep. High quality compound microscope. The solution, glass slides. We have tested and reviewed microscopes. These are the top recommended. Oh, that's nice. I really love that they have some recommendations on a few that we can go look at and then see which one fits our budget. I'm sure that there's somewhere in here that we need to look at. Where are we going to get the different pieces? Mm, let's see. Water bottles. I'm not seeing like any, I don't know, like what do you mean? Like things that we would put in the microscope. Let's look really quick. Let's go a little quicker. If we were to do a microscope, which lessons have those? Lesson two. So if we look at lesson two, cut out the cell parts on the parts of a cell page. Thread the yarn. Let's see. Plates. Oh, purchased online or five paper cups. Let's see. Solution, glass slides, toothpick, clear, eyedropper, and paper towel. But what are we putting in it? Have the children follow the steps below to complete the journal activity with the lab. Obtain a skin cell specimen. Okay, gently scrape the inside of your cheek with the side of a toothpick. Oh, okay. So they're going to look at something that you already have. Everybody has a cheek, so that will work. We don't have to buy anything extra for that. Let's look at lesson five. Lesson five. Let's go straight to the microscope right here. Using an eyedropper, place one drop of pond water on the glass slide. Mm, okay, so we got to find water from somewhere. I wonder if water from our swimming pool will be helpful. Maybe if it rains, finding water. So a drop of water from somewhere. That may or may not be difficult to find. We have parks around us that could we could get a drop of water from in a pond. That could be a fun way to do it. Lesson seven. Lesson seven, okay. Oh, this is an onion. Okay, so you could pick up an onion and then use it in a recipe later. Onion skin, B12 
be able to do that one. So not too bad. They're not ones that would be really difficult that we have to go find something special for. And then maybe you guys can cook something together after with that onion. So there's, you can also watch the video online, it looks like, or watch the video. Yeah. So you, if this, if getting a microscope is just not something that your family can do at this time, that's okay. They have the videos. Maybe the next time around you can. And if not, they're still going to learn a ton. It's so fascinating and so informative through the, um, the videos. Okay, let's see. Yes, we have the Esburn book too. I'm an Esburn consultant, so I save up my hostess rewards to do big back to school Esburn book. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, if I ever need some more Esburn books, I might have to, I might have to talk to you, book girl. Okay, so that is. No, we're not all done. We got to look at this fungi study because, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Okay. Look at those. They're just so cool. It's just beautiful, beautiful pictures. I cannot wait to dive into these with my kiddos. Black mold. Okay, interesting. <laughs> it's just so fun. Your library loans out microscopes? That's amazing. I need to look into that. I wonder if ours does. I have never even considered asking that. I'm sure that's just a phone call away. Okay, so there's a look at that course. I am super excited. What do you think, book girl? Is that better than the previous one? And a telescope? That's way cool. I don't know that my library goes to that extent. I will have to look. But telescopes to go out and look at the stars? That would be so fun. Okay, so yes. Did you have any questions? Anything that you wanted to look at closer that I didn't quite look at in the course? I'm excited that they have videos as well, because sometimes when we do a experiment, <laughs> it doesn't quite go as the textbook says it should. So having the video as a backup has saved us a few times. <laughs> All right, let's see. No idea when we'll get to this one, but it's gorgeous. And yes, to all the videos. Okay. Yeah, I, we will probably do this one next year because we have our lineup full for this year. So we are, we're excited to get into it, but we are want to, I want to really want to do the little hearts and hands unit before diving into this one. Cause I love the little hearts and hands unit it gives you like a touch in a ton of different units. Like you get an introduction to reptiles and an introduction to the, all of these things. It's just so fun how many things it introduces that then kind of give us an idea to jump into seeing what they're interested in doing next. So I love that. I'm super excited about it. We have been loving that course. Even my oldest, from my youngest to my oldest, has been loving the little hearts and hands. And they're super simple, super simple lessons that we enjoy. Yeah, little hearts and hands when it came out. We love it. We do, we do. Okay, so how do you guys feel? Well. But girl, you're the one here. How do you feel about um, doing a live tomorrow about the planner I'm going to use this year? So I finally found a planner. I don't know if you've seen my, I think believe you have seen my um, record keeping video. And where I talked about I was looking for a planner, the right planner for next year. I finally found it. And I'm so, so excited about it. It's actually kind of a unique approach to a homeschool planner because it's not a homeschool planner but it is perfect for what I need and I cannot wait to get into it. So I can go, I can do a quick live on it tomorrow because I had this great video planned out that would be a lot similar to my record keeping video. And I thought it would be so great. I don't have time to film it or edit it. So if you want to see it, I'll be here tomorrow. All right. Awesome. You will be here. I'm not sure what time yet. Maybe in the evening, does evening work for you? We can do evening live for the planner tomorrow and see how See how that goes.
All right, so if you are interested in on the playback, if you have any questions, again, drop them down in the comments. If you're interested in other science units from The Good and the Beautiful, I will have that playlist linked in the description box. And as new units come out, I will be having, I will be getting my hands on those and then doing, I think I'm gonna do lives for them just because it's so much easier to get it to you same day as it, when it comes. And then I can make sure and get that done and then be back with my family as soon as possible. So win-win for all of us. This time works, perfect. Okay, so 7 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow, we will take a look at a planner. Oh, lucky you. I wish my kiddos were asleep in three hours from now. I mean, in theory, they should be. They should be, but they're not usually. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming. I'll see you guys tomorrow with that planner. Bye.